Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We got a bevy of news stories for you today. I, you know, will be glancing at my phone for it. Unfortunately, my computer is kind of wonky going through updates at the moment. I didn't want to skip this recording. So let's just jump right into it after I tell you that we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to one lucky winner. They'll get to choose a system of their choice. Uh, all you have to do to enter is head to that gleam.io link down in the pinned comment or the description. Also, there is the Mario 10 sale going on right now. A bunch of Mario games are $20 off. We have links down in the description for all of those. Obviously, there are affiliate links, so if you use those links, it does help support the channel. That being said, let's actually dive deep into the news. And our first story, I have to read this because it's very interesting. At least I want to read the exact terminology here because Nintendo has delayed their major game for the month of April. So on April 8th, we were supposed to get Advance Wars Reboot Camp 1 Plus two and they have said the following on twitter from the official nintendo of america account in light of recent world events we have made the decision to delay advance wars one plus two reboot camp which was originally scheduled to release on nintendo switch on april 8th please stay tuned for updates on a new release date now you know, I'm not going to dive too deep into this because we don't really deal with po politics and all of that going on. And this is obviously more of a humanitarian issue, probably in terms of the actual world event. We're talking obviously about what's happening between Russia and Ukraine. Again, I'm not going to dive into that or give any personal opinions on that. And Nintendo is attempting to be sensitive to that situation and not release a game about quote unquote war, even fake war uh, during this time. Of course, uh, plenty of other games already exist that do this from the battlefield and the Call of Duties of the world. So to me, personally, I think Nintendo should have just kept the release date. But I know a lot of people are going to say, good on Nintendo. P opinions are going to be split on this, whether Nintendo is making the right decision to delay the game or not. What's interesting is in order to delay the game, they took it off the Nintendo Switch eShop so people couldn't pre-order it since obviously Nintendo does not have a public release date for that game anymore. And the problem with that is when they took it down, it actually canceled everyone else's pre-order so you know the millions of people that might have had this game pre-ordered through the nintendo switch eShop woke up today and saw that their pre-order was canceled which is really strange i mean obviously hey nice to get a refund but you know whatever nintendo's gonna release this game whenever they feel the time is right obviously this isn't talking about a massive game you know we're not talking about delaying things like kirby we're not talking about delaying splatoon 3 or you know breath of the wild 2 or pokemon so sure this isn't one of the massive games and it would be a much bigger deal if they did delay one of those kind of games due to this uh ongoing crisis but uh yeah nintendo has decided to delay it kind of sucks because it obviously was delayed already from last year to now now is it even going to come out this year are they going to wait till the conflict is over which could take years who really knows so it, it's going to be interesting to see how this gets handled but yeah it's a game that nintendo has done that they're not going to release at this time um it sucks but i mean i played the original so at least i have those memories to live off of right now our next story is kind of a funny one so nintendo is releasing a new lego set a peach lego set and here's a bunch of images of it that will rotate around and the funny thing is, is that nintendo unveiled it today accidentally on instagram uh they didn't mean to actually have that instagram post go live until tomorrow you can tell because the instagram post was referencing mario 10 day which is tomorrow so it's very it's very interesting to see that this happened and that nintendo of course thought they could just quickly delete the tweet and that the world wouldn't have captured every single image and screenshot of it honestly they probably should have just left it live and decided to throw the promotion live elsewhere like on twitter and other places you know a day early i don't think it would have been that big of a deal uh this set is really really cool looking it has obviously some new enemies included in it um some koopalines and all that and yeah i honestly think this is one of the better looking mario sets to date and what i'm very curious of is how many of you guys have actually purchased one of the mario lego sets i know we gave away some during e3 last year and i think i have one set on hand somewhere else the, the luigi set don't have the actual Mario set. I'm very curious about the Princess Peach one though, because I think it actually looks really cool. Peach's castle, um, some really cool enemy designs as well. I actually think this is the best design set to date, but uh, let me know your thoughts on this and if you are even interested in Mario Legos, because according to the Lego company, like, hey, the Mario Legos have been their best selling new Lego sets in decades. So that's you know really good news for them. But 
how many of you guys in my audience are actually buying them? That's what I want to know. Our last story is one that Nintendo dropped yesterday and does make me wonder about the future. So when we got Majora's Mask on Nintendo Switch Online last month, Nintendo did not announce there would be a new game coming this month, unlike they had done the previous three games. We actually knew them ahead of time that we were going to get X game in this month or there'd be a new game coming in the following month. Nintendo didn't promise a new Nintendo Switch Online game this month, and yet they announced one. F-Zero X is coming to Nintendo Switch Online this Friday. That's really good, and it's going to have online multiplayer, and F-Zero is, you know, it's just nice to see some F-Zero love from Nintendo, even if it just makes me really really want a new game because that's what we really want a new game not just the old games coming back but the old games coming back with online gameplay is a welcome addition to nintendo switch online and again they announced this without announcing a game for next month now there's still games in the original reveal of nintendo switch online for n64 games that haven't come out yet so we can probably safely presume we will get at least one n64 game next month as well but you know what happens when you assume things it just makes an ass out of you and me and gets me in trouble at times when I make assumptions. So yeah, let's just leave it at that. I'm very, you know, I, I don't know that this Nintendo Switch online service is worth it yet to most people. Actually, my my online subscription uh, is done. I, I, I haven't renewed it yet and I haven't felt the need to renew it yet, uh, but we'll see if I change my mind down the line. That being said, thank you so much for tuning in. Nice, short, and quick. You guys have an amazing day. We got a podcast tonight featuring Player Essence. Probably going to have a live reaction stream as well to the PlayStation uh, event today. There is a PlayStation Direct today that I'm really looking forward to as well. So we might even do a live stream for that. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.